Yeah, very nice. Don't like to disappoint. Can you move the camera more to the left of the Elsa, please? Nice and easy. No, wait, this doesn't feel right. Oh, you're thinking too much. Am I? You know what I mean. It's difficult to make out the scar tissue. The scar tissue is fine. Oh, we've got a bleed on the mesentery. Yeah, the BP's dropping. No, she's torn it. Steady the ports, thank you. It was difficult to see. Calm down. I am calm. It's in a difficult place to access. Fine. Contract the name they give to mistakes. You don't have to rub it in. It's a tricky procedure, Jay. It was good that you had a go. Still, no damage done, so you can relax. Don't worry, Nick. I'll get over it. I admire your ambition. But next time, you really should tell us if you're unqualified for a procedure. Neat work. Thank you. BP's up. No. Pulse is slowing. His heart is struggling. He's in the F. Defibs. Charge to 200. I believe it was obviously too much for his heart. Charging. Come on, Jack, quickly. Come on, Carlo, stick with us. Think of the business. Clear. No, go again. Hedge Mr. Beecham for me. Clear. Defibs aren't working. Aortic stenosis. There's not enough blood in the heart to get it going. I'm going to crack him open and get him on bypass. I'm going to lose him otherwise. No, you can't do that. Watch me. I'm not going to let this man die. Dr. Rose? We need to be quick. Put his heart up in business. No, I think we should shock him again. I think I need better access to the chest. I don't believe this. No. Right, ready? More light, please. Someone move the table up. Ah, decided to stick around after all, did we? What do you think you're doing, Mr. Jordan? This is not your territory. The patient arrested. External resuscitation was not effective, so I opted for internal massage paddles quickly. I thought you should come straight away. Yeah, that's fine. So what do you intend to do? Put the patient on bypass and await the cardiothoracic surgeon, obviously. Charging to 30. Right, hold the floor while I finish off next door. Certainly. What are you doing, Mr. Jordan? Yep, you've got sinus. An amazing ability to adapt to any situation. Well, what can I say? I was a boy scout. Right, well, you did well. Okay, we need to put him on bypass. Let's have aortic cannula purse strings. Should we be with the heparin? We're ready. He does need his valve replacement now. Oh, I'm well aware of that. I hope it hasn't been too long since you assisted on one, if you'd care to do the honours. Yeah, if that's what you want. Oh, you're the only one here qualified. Right, we agreed mechanical. Let's get the valve ready, please. Um, actually, I took the liberty of ordering ahead. Now, that's almost too good, Mr. Jordan. And if your registrar's not busy, perhaps she could write up the theatre lips. Yes, Miss Naylor would be very happy to do that. All right, once the patient's on bypass, we can start. Could you sort out your face? You've got some nerve. All part of the job description. Yeah, and surprise, surprise, you're in Mrs. Beecham's good books. Uh, I didn't know the man was going to arrest, did I? Well, sort. What he wants to do is bake a few pizzas. You wouldn't have shown any interest in Carl if he didn't have a CT condition. <laughs> How can you say that? Because it's true. If you're desperate to get back into cardiothoracics, you'd do anything. Well, I was good. I trained here under one of the best. And I was going to be one of the best. So you admit it? OK, yeah. This is where it started for me. And if an opportunity came up, then I'd take it. But to suggest I'd do anything... I thought you knew me better than that. Your eyes lit up when you saw Connie with Carlo. I showed an interest, so what? An interest that nearly killed him. Look, the patient deteriorated. If we'd have done the opt-down on Keller, we wouldn't have had the bypass to hand. What was I supposed to do? And when Rick finds out? You have a very suspicious nature, Jack. You're not the only one who came here to get on with a career, Nick. Yeah, you came here to be a consultant. Don't think I didn't know what you were up to. If I hadn't tried the procedure, we'll get out that I don't have the gut. You took on something you knew you weren't up to. It's behaviour like that which ruins reputations. Wait a minute. Is that a threat? I would think twice before mentioning it to Rick. You see, people around here, they don't know you like I do. Things have changed. I've got friends here. I know you'll be going home to that empty flat tonight. I'm phoning to see how your day was. So what? I'm the only one who knows the real Jack Naylor. I knew you'd do this. Checkmate. We saved a man's life. Connie's fine with it. Rick can't do or say a thing. You know what? I'm back. Oh. Hemoglobin's 9.7, so there's no further need for a blood transfusion. Urine output's good. You're doing well. Lovely. Hell of a time to get cold feet. 
Adam, what do I really know about you? Is it you got memory loss or something? <laughs> Ten grand's a lot of money to me. It's a drop in the ocean to the money I paid out. No, it's not just that. But then what? You don't know the first thing about food. I served you osobuco, and you asked for ketchup. I like ketchup. What's the problem? How do I know I can trust you? Hey. Hey, whoa. Listen. I'm straight down the line. I've got a, a good reputation and a clean track record. I don't think he's interested in that. I think he's looking for excuses. You've got to take a punt, Carlo, otherwise you'll never know. We're buying into the dream. What if it turns into a nightmare? I'm not like you. So that's it? Hmm? End of partnership? I'm sorry. I'd rather stick to what I know. Carlo, I know this is none of my business, but I pulled out all the stops for you because I believed in you. And now you're just going to quit. I'm tired of fighting. You're going to chuck in the towel. If I'd have known this... What? You'd have given the antibiotics a chance to work. I've got a second mortgage on my house to pay for this deal. Sorry. Yeah, well, I'll get my solicitor to speak to yours. So, what are you going to do then? Well, I've got the building, I've got the equipment. Who needs a wood-burning stove when you've got gas? So you're going to go ahead on your own? Well, he's a good chef, but there are others. What's pizza anyway, except a tarted up Welsh rarebit? See ya. Well, you're Mr. Griffin's patient. He'll be taking over. Over to you. Get another bag of fluid. Great. How did our live liver go? Not a hitch. Great. Anything to report here? No. Nothing at all? We had to operate on Carlo Comagnetti, the perforated ulcer. Why? He deteriorated badly, but we did the op on Darwin and did Mrs. Beecham replace his valve at the same time. Mr. Jordan? That's oh, Mrs. Beecham. He did a good job. Oh, looks like rain. On lift, Jack. I'll be fine, thanks. Good night. Good night, Nick. I will be needing my parking space tomorrow. I'm sorry, I, I only parked there because I knew you were at St. James's. Sure. Safe journey home. Good night.